I used my little electric chainsaw to do a pretty messy job. I cut a yucca down. this thing up. I discovered there's a lot of fibers in a yucca plant um, and uh, I noticed my oiler wasn't working really well. You know these little electric chainsaws are great. Um, you know they're so simple to use and you don't have to worry about dealing with gasoline and uh, you know fueling the saw and all that but um, the oiler on this is a manual oiler. You push this little bulb here and it forces oil through the reservoir to the chain and I noticed that wasn't working. So I think my oil reservoir is clogged up here. Uh, so I'm gonna take this all apart and clean it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little farther. I'm gonna break down the saw, open this up, get the reservoir out, because I think my issue is that I got debris in here. Um, so let's see how it goes. First thing, I gotta take this cover off, get the chain and bar off. I have a parts list. This is a Remington electric chainsaw. I've had this thing for years. It's been a great tool. You know, these things are, are simple. Um, so it's not like a, a gas saw where you have a lot of, you know, nuances to keeping it tuned. Um, so let's break this down. I like using uh, manual screwdrivers when I'm working on tools because um, if you use a power driver, it's sometimes a little hard to control, you know, those. And one thing, you don't want to strip screws when you're working on a, one of your, uh, you know, shop tools or power tools because that becomes more of a challenge to fix. I know it takes a little longer to do this with hand, hand tools, but you know what? I can always just speed up the video for you guys. There we go. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean all this. I'm gonna put this screw in here so I remember where it came from. Those screws go with that. Ah, uh, yeah. See, the yucca is really a stringy plant. That was interesting. And it's all bound up in here. Take these nuts come off to remove the bar and chain. Well, that was really stuck up on there. Yeah, all these little holes. I got to clean all this out because it's important to have to have these clean and to have your groove that the chain runs in clean. Um, and that's all the oil has to like track through all of that, and when it gets dirty, then the oil doesn't flow properly to you know keep everything lubed and and also cooled down so to get that reservoir out 
looks like I have to take this this arm off of here. So there's a little there's a little spring clip that holds this bar in place. Just pop that off with a screwdriver. And I don't want to lose that in all this debris. I'm going to set it over there so I don't lose it. And this should come apart. There we go. Oh yeah, this is all bound up with gook. It's good I'm taking all this apart. This gear tooth is what engages the chain and drives the chain. So I got to get those all cleaned out. So what we're looking at here, here's the gear that drives the chain. These two studs hold the bar in place. This little tab here engages with a slot on the bar and there's a screw head on the front end. You see it's pretty dirty there, but you turn that screw and that um, is the bar adjustment because that drives the bar up and down here to tension the chain. Um, that slot right there is where my oil reservoir feeds the chain and the bar and that was all full goo and I think what I got to do is actually take this reservoir. It's just a plastic tank in there. It's kind of encased in the housing. I want to take it out and uh, remove it. If I rinse this out, if I take this whole thing apart and rinse this out, I think I can get you know some debris and stuff out of there. So there's the slot on the bar right there where the oil is fed into the bar and then that allows the oil to travel down this groove and keep the chain lubricated and um, just keep everything moving smoothly. So I got to clean that whole bar out. All right, before I take this apart, um, I'm going to go to work on this chain here um, because I'm going to soak it to get it clean. You know, it's worth it once in a while to take your chains off and actually clean them. Um, so the way I do that, you know, you can buy degreasers and all that stuff. I just use dish soap, a little hot water. And I put a fair amount of dish soap in there. I want a little strong concentration, all right? And then I'm just going to put this in there to soak. Yeah, we're just going to let that soak there for a while while I work on the rest of the saw. Okay. I'm going to start by taking this housing off of the side. See, those are out. Those screws are out. Got some screws here. Oh yeah, look at all that crud in there. Of course, some of this probably isn't just from this one last job. It's been a while since I've really cleaned this saw. Oh, and it's gotten jammed up in here. Yeah, see there's something in the neck of this plastic reservoir there that's, I think it's debris I got into it. So there's oil, see the oil flows, but it all stops right there. I'm going to pour this dirty oil out into this little container here and then see what I can do to get the goo out of this, uh, this reservoir. Oop, there, that was a big glob of something fell out of there. I saw that. I got a piece of wire here. I'm just gonna break this stuff up, get it out. Something's stuck in there. There we go. All right, 
we're going to put a little a little gasoline to use as a solvent into that. If we can get it in here. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, see that's starting to dribble out there right away. Now it's squirting through when I pump the little bulb. See that? That's good. Yay. Okay, good. That's all clean. The orifice works. So we're going to set that aside here. I got to clean up all of this in here. So I'm going to clean all this debris out. I'm going to scrape it out, wipe it down a little bit. There's no use really washing it because it just all gets oily again. But uh, we might as well get all the debris out. So you don't need to watch me do that whole thing. So I'm going to speed ahead here. And um, you'll be able to see how I put this all back together. I've got everything almost ready to go back together here. This is cleaned up pretty good. Look at all this stuff that was in there. Can you believe that? Our drive sprocket is clean. That our areas where the oil is going to feed is all clean. And I've cleaned out the reservoir now, so this is going to work fine. Uh, what I did want to show you is cleaning the bar. That little slot there is what lines up for the oil to come through, right? And it feeds oil into the bar. These bars, if you clean it just by running something down the groove you know again I'm using this is one of those promotional things you get in the mail those those little fake credit cards right they try to get you to sign up hey they're sending you a free tool these are great use them for all kinds of little tasks and this is one of them you can clean the bar on your chainsaw with it right look at that see that crud coming out of there get all that out of there there we go. And then this slot here, it's important that that's clean. See that? Get that crud out of there. You can use a little screwdriver, a pick, or anything just to be sure to get that all cleaned out. Good like it. Now when I assemble this, I'm going to flip the bar over. Uh, you need to rotate your bar every once in a while flipping it because most of the force when you're cutting is on the bottom side and that creates more friction with the chain running along this groove and by flipping the bar over you get equal wear on the other side of your bar. There's a oil um, feeder slot on both sides. Okay, first thing, this reservoir has to go back in here. And it just has to line up and slide right in there. Just like that. Then this casing goes back on. Oh, my extension cord fell out of here. That's got to be in here like this. All right, put my case back together. That's good. Screws that hold everything. There we go. them up and again I don't use an electric driver when I'm assembling a, a power tool or any of my shop equipment I do it by hand that way I've got better control and I'm not likely to strip these screws out now I've got to put this guide back on here 
and that's held on with this little snap pin, snap clip. And these can be a little tricky to put together. My finger there so I don't lose this thing. There. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to just finger tighten these nuts on here. There we go. How's that looking? That's pretty good. Okay. Now, remember this chain? It's been soaking this whole time. And it should be all loosened up here now. What I'm going to do is rinse this off and uh, I'm going to take and use a blow dryer to dry it. I want to be sure to get all the moisture out of it and be sure it's fully dry. Then we will have it, uh, we'll put some oil on it before we mount it back on the, on the saw. Okay, here's my clean chain, nice and dry. I'm going to oil it up. Yeah, I know, I should have had gloves on this whole time. But, you know, so be it. I forget. I'm going to put a little uh, chain oil in this cup that I cleaned out. And all we're going to do is kind of run this chain through there, get it nice and oiled. saw here. Now we got to be sure we get it going the right way. Teeth, teeth have to face forward on the top of the saw, coming back underneath. Okay, looks like I've got to move my bar back a bit so that they can get this. There we go. Now, that out of the way, we tighten the bar, tighten the chain by extending the bar. It draws that right up into the groove there. And look at that, it moves. Now this is where we check our tension. We just lift up on the chain gently and we want to tension it so that those guide teeth don't come up out of the groove. They need to stay in the groove. There we go. squeaky chair I'm sitting on. Tighten up these nuts that hold the bar. 
don't need to overdo it. Just got to be sure they're firm. All right. Now we put on our little guard. Now we put that together. put the rest of that oil into my reservoir see if I can do this without a funnel all right All right, plug that in, everything looks good, yeah, nice, I'm ready to go put this thing to work.